The Blue Veil, a legendary chest buried under English soil for nearly 700 years. I can't let it get away. I wonder what Sir William wanted to talk about. I was supposed to meet Natalie now. I'm late. Natalie? What? No! Gotta love that cutscene fade. Right from the main cutscene into the main menu. I'm your Gibbs. We're going to be playing Mystery Crusaders Resurgence of the Templars. And uh, I actually played the beta for this and I thought it was a quirky enough game and I really thought it deserved some love when the full release was due. I do love the strawberry jam play button. It uh, looks super yummy. Now this is actually a game made by uh, Ruby 7 Studios and I'm not familiar with them. If you folks have know any other games that the developer has made, please let me know in the comments. That would be super nice of you. So well, you know what? Let's hit that strawberry jam play button and let's continue. Jason? No! Find, at all costs, the Blue Veil before they do. Jason discovered that the Shadows hatched a plan to break into the Canterbury Chamber and steal the Blue Veil. I wonder what secrets lie inside this chest. Meet Sir William Thoreau at Hades Inn. It's a place to start. I'm sensing a connection between the shadows and Jason. I hope I'll find some answers here. Would we like some interactive help? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because I have not had, uh, well, I don't think I've actually played any other games previously. Now, of course, this is Hidden Object Puzzle Adventure, so it's not really going to be that much different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have a speech icon over here. Now, did you, everyone or anyone pick up on the Dexter hiding place there in that quick cutscene? <laughs> I sure did. Miss Layton, I presume? I've been expecting you. I'm sorry for calling you on such short notice. Don't fret about it. Here you go. Room number 313. 313, that is one fancy looking key. Important events are recorded in your journal as you progress. It is also a map which you can use to travel quickly. Hotel lobby. Uh, Thumbtacks or whatever you call those things. Poster tacks, I don't know what you call them. Let's go to the very beginning here. The Blue Veil has secretly shipped to London. Oh, the Blue Veil was secretly shipped to London in the year 1314 following the collapse of the Knights Templar. Since then, the chest has remained locked away in the Canterbury Chamber of the Templar Headquarters. Legend has it that the chest contains a map to King Solomon's Mines, but no one dared to open the chamber for centuries, as one mistake would destroy the map forever. Hades Inn was just around the corner. There I met the manager with whom I had spoken previously. He seemed friendly, but he was watching me. I have a strange feeling about this place. The zoom icon indicates you may examine an area. The hand icon means you can pick something up. Look at how quickly I'm moving my fingers. Get that thing. Go, go, go. <laughs> this is your inventory. When you have more items that can be shown, select the arrow to scroll. The navigation icon indicates you can move to another location. But, but, I want to go over here first. A cross-shaped object opens the box. What did I just pick up? I picked up handles. 
Okay, now you know what I should actually do? I'm gonna just pop into the guide here. Because, uh, well, I wasn't actually sure if there was actually collectibles in this particular game. It's hard to say. Let's see if our tutorial tells us. Oh my gosh, this elevator is super fast. <laughs> Wouldn't that be dangerous if the elevator was that fast? Ah, uh, I gotta get caught in the elevator. Take the elevator to reach your room, miss. How do you know I'm a miss? So we're gonna go up the elevator and see where we land up top here. And uh, find out, uh oh, who's that guy? Help! Whoa, a smoke grenade. I've got to tell the manager he must have a key for that room. Press the hint button if you get stuck after using it. It must recharge before you may use it again. The gear icon indicates that you need to use an inventory item. So how did that help me? Now all I need is a fire. Okay. Ooh, ask me a question. Got myself an axe. A plus symbol. A one-handed clock. Not very helpful. If only I had the right key. How about this key right here? Oh, apparently that is not a key that's going to work. So I guess we're not going to be able to get to our room. Oh, that was a creaky noise. I like the fire up here. That's nice. Let's go down. Hmm. Hotel manager. Actually, let's open this up first, see what's inside here. A star, some thread, and hotel manager. Someone was attacked. I'll hear none of that nonsense. Well, I saw someone get attacked. You have to believe me. I was there. Exactly. I think you'd best return to your room and lie down. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to attend to. <laughs> okay. Wow. You'd think he'd be a little more concerned about his guests. No kidding. Find the objects listed below. Two items listed in orange require additional interactions to find. I'm gonna roll the die here. Uh, sure, we'll put that over there. Haha, <laughs> nice tea bag. Cup of tea, please. You may switch to Mayong. Mayong. And then we may switch back. Uh, sure. Typically, you need two matches to get one item. But we didn't come here to watch this stuff. We want to go back to the object mode. Alcohol, playing cards. What else do we need? A lot of... Whoa, what's with the handgun here? Seems a little dangerous to have that laying about. Cigarette case. A dolly? What? Oh, that kind of dolly. And we're gonna have to make a sandwich from the looks of it. A cigarette case. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we are. Now, oh, where's the other half of our sandwich? Don't think we need sugar cube. Um, uh, hmm. I see you there, but I don't see you there. Oh, haha, <laughs> okay. Apparently that's how you make a sandwich. With some tomatoes. So we have our Zippo later what there. What are Whoa. you doing here? If you know what's good for you, you'll leave. I'm just going through your stuff. Since you don't seem interested in helping. We're gonna spark it up in here. Now we'll get his attention.
It worked. He's gone to shut off the fire alarm. We have to go back to his uh, space and go through more of his stuff. That went better than I thought. Ah, we're gonna totally code up my key here. Uh, wait a minute, what am I doing? Arrange the parts of the card so that all circuit lines match the tabs on the frame. Ah! Let's see here. We'll work top to down, or top to bottom. We're golden, we have the key now, 316, let's go. Before he gets back here. Let's find out what's in here. That's a fancy key too. Let's go to room 316. Whoa, what a mess. The kidnapper must have pulled his captive through the window. Don't come looking for him. Ooh, a threat, an ominous threat. Shadows, who are they? Criminal underbelly of the Europe is in the playground for some of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world, but none of them compare to the sheer terror and fascination commanded by the shadows. Tracing their origins to the early 1400s, this is an ancient criminal syndicate has managed to reinvent themselves through the ages and is now thought to have woven themselves into modern society where they hold high ranks in various organizations. Hmm. This guy was definitely doing some major investigation here. So I now have a bronze key. Uh, where else can we go here to figure out what this bronze key is for? The Sapphire Codex, so that must be important. Dear Alfred, it is in great fear that I write to you, for I suspect that our Templar legacy may be at stake. My sources have informed me that the shadows are closing in on the Blue Veil. As you may know, their members are everywhere. Meet me at Hades Inn on Friday. I shall introduce you to Detective Jason Palmer, who is investigating the case and may be able to help us save the Blue Veil. Aha! This is a complex object. These items require special actions. They do, do they? Special option. Oh, I think I can use this thread here. Red thread for a red magnet. That's gonna work out lovely. Now, uh, uh, I'm not sure if this key will work here. Let's try, no. Oh, maybe here. Aha! So we have fish food, so we gotta figure out where our fishies are, because they demand their fish food. I didn't see any fishies. So here's our hand, I can go here. Oh, hello! Great hiding place for that. Let's put that down here. Templar Crest. What? I think I have to look here, don't I? Journal. Whoa, I'm already on page 17? How did that happen? <laughs> okay, so sort up, kneeling, and standing. Oh. Oh, I need the missing buttons. So... I think that one's there. Let me see here. That kneeling is there. This one here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You should be facing that way. Shield and then facing that way. Hmm. How's that gonna work? Oh, like that. Wow, this is kind of tricky, actually. How am I supposed to do this? Wow. This is actually uh, pretty interesting here. 
This is going to require some creative manipulation here. So that's right, that's right, that's right. No, that's wrong. Let's have a look then. So they've made this difficult because typically when you make these kind of puzzles, at least one of them moves by themselves. But in this case here, they all move each other. So this one moves one and three. This one moves one and two. And that one moves three and two. Holy cow. <laughs> this is going to be impossible. Insanity here. Uh, what are the odds? Shoot. Um, so basically, he's kneeling, he's standing. So I need him facing forward. Now, that is correct. So somehow I just need him to be kneeling. Uh, huh. This is kind of insane. Whoa, I did it! Holy cow! Yay! Whoa, what's this fancy thing? That's a high-tech spy device. Ooh, I have a star too. Ooh, I'll take that. I have myself a toolbox key and a communicator. Where is my toolbox? Let's have a look at our map here. Hmm. Current position. Uh, let's just go down to the lobby here. He's still not here though. Oh, it's pouring out there. No point in going out. Okay. Let's go upstairs then. Uh-oh. Sir William Thoreau? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a friend of Jason's. I don't mean you any harm, sir. Prove it. Show me your neck. I want to make sure you're not one of them. Here. See? You can trust me. All right. Follow me. It's not safe to talk here. Let's go and follow Sir William. If you're not one of them, who are you? And who are you? I'm Natalie, Jason's partner. He was supposed to meet you tonight. There's something else. I saw a man being taken in the foyer. He... Alfred? Oh no, he looks sad. Somebody please help. I've been taken. I'm being held captive at the Templar Library. You've got to get me out of here. Be warned that these men are armed and dangerous. Approach with caution. Oh, okay. Look at that. We have a cool communicator device now. Journal me up. I was just in time to meet Sir William Thero. He appeared quite nervous, as if anticipating some danger. Shocked to hear about Jason, he was quick to identify the kidnapped person as Alfred. I'm certain he'll be a great help. I was speaking with Sir William when the communicator I found started beeping. Alfred's image appeared on the screen. He's alive! He's being held at the Templar Library. Alright, fishies. Chew on that. Now we can do this. Magnet on a string. Maybe. Maybe not. Or no, no, we just reach in there and grab it like it's nobody's business. Uh, we have this. We totally have this. Whoa, fancy. We now have wires. Take this signet ring. 
You'll need it to continue your quest. A Templar ring. Cool.